I love this car. This is my Range Rover. I'm very proud of it. It's very comfortable, but I do too many miles in it. And although I'm not some kind of eco-maniac, its carbon footprint isn't very good. It's time to think again. I've come to Bristol Street Motors and I'm going to look at this new Nissan Leaf. Dave Hutchinson, hello. Hey, Graham, pleased to meet you. You were of a Bristol Street Motors Nissan here in Darlington. This is a Nissan Leaf. It's a Leaf Techna, yes. A Leaf Techna. Do you think you could take me for a test drive? And do you think you could get me out of the Range Rover? Well, I think you'll be very quietly surprised how good this car is. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Dave, we're in the cockpit. How do yep. I turn it on? Power. Power. Press yep. the... Pre yeah, that's it. And put your Hang on, on, it hasn't fired up. It oh, has, it's so quiet. Oh, it hasn't fired up because it's not petrol. Okay. okay. You may hear the... I'll turn the fan down. Turn the fan right. down. It's completely silent in here. It is, yes. Just a... Eerie. Just a... Just a <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, OK, let's head off. And, okay. and you go. Oh. And that's it. Wow, it's completely silent. It is. Dave, I'm amazed at this car. It's so quiet. And the acceleration, ooh, it's, it's so responsive. Talk, yeah, very good. Um, it's a family-sized car, Vol Volkswagen Golf, uh, Ford yeah. Focus type of car. Yeah. Now, Dave, how many miles are I likely to get out of this car? Well, it, it depends, um, obviously, um, if you've got your heating on or air conditioning or the weather or if, if, if you put your toe down regarding how you're driving it. Um, I would say uh, if you've got 149 miles, you would probably get around 120. Right. But depending, you could get slightly more, you could get slightly less. It it's obviously depends on the conditions. If you've got your heating blasting yeah. um, or your air conditioning and such as that, then you've got stuff on. But So this is the smaller of the range, isn't it? It is, yes. This is the 40 kilowatt battery, which will give you around 168 miles um, charge. Uh, we do the E Plus, uh, which is the 6.2 kilowatt battery, which gives you 238 range. I noticed something else which is quite fun. I've set something called e-pedal and when I come to take my foot off the accelerator it's a bit like a dodgem car yes. the thing starts to stop I don't it actually doesn't. have to touch the brake yeah, so yeah. I just there's no one behind I just take my foot off the accelerator watch this yeah it freewheels to an almost halt it will stop at some stage plus it's regenerating your battery so that's that that that, that is allowing the sort of yes natural energy to or kinetic energy to Correct. regenerate the battery yeah uh, I don't have to have that on, no, uh, and I know on up. other electric cars you have to have it on, but you can switch it off. It's on an option. This. Yeah. Um, it's an e pedal switch. Yeah. So, how long does it take to charge up? There's, there's three levels of charging. The first level, if you were doing it at home, on a normal socket th um, at home, it usually takes about 20 hours to get from empty to 100%. Right. The level two, um, it takes around about four to eight hours. That's which with is a special charger. Which is a charger, yeah, though, that you can get put in at home if you want to. You right. can have a charger. Yeah. And there's a rapid charger which will get you 80% charged in about four, 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, right. The infrastructure is getting a lot better throughout so the country. So these are the things you see at service stations yes. and so on. Yeah, so basically, but um, if you get one of these cars and you want to have a charger put in at home, there's a company called Ovo who yeah. actually install these. And um, What kind get, of price do you think I'm going to be paying for that? Well, at the moment, I think it's £399, but um, right. you get that as a grant from Nissan. Nissan give oh, you that. Great. Oh, yeah. that's so, now we're talking. So, yeah. Um, they come and drill the whole new wall, connect it to your electric? Yeah, they do all of that. And if you get your electricity from Ovo... I, I do. I'm an Ovo customer. Well, they'll do it completely free, because they give you the grant part of it. Right. But if you get your electricity from Ovo, they'll come and install that charger absolutely free. So the car itself is a nice, comfortable, family size car. Ford Focus, Volkswagen Golf size, um, and I could dawdle around 150, maybe 100 miles, charge it up, 150, 100 miles, charge it up. Yeah. I suppose I, I would have to get used in my head, rather than filling with petrol, which takes 10 minutes, or maybe from the Range Rover, maybe uh, I've got to get used to plugging it in when I get home, yeah. uh, and that'll keep it topped up. Well, I think it becomes second nature, just like your mobile mm. phone. If you've yeah. got a mobile phone, you you wouldn't, you, you would say, I need to put that charge on maybe overnight or something, or that's if you had the normal charger. Yeah. Um, but you know, you, you, you would um, you would get used to the conditions and knowing you, you would um, be able to do it. Of course, the other element to this is the car tax. Yep. Um, 
not just my tax, but the tax the company pays. I need a tax expert. Oh, fortunately, I've got one with me. She's in the back seat. Charlie from Rycroft Glenton, tell me about the taxes on this Nissan Leaf. Well, Graham, I've got all the details right here. So if you want to pull over, I can talk you through them. Okay, we've pulled over safely, we've put the hazard lights on. Charlie, come on then, what's the damage? Uh, it, this car's like a Volkswagen Golf kind of size, so let's compare it. What if I had a regular Golf? Well, for a VW Golf with a list price of just under 27,000, the benefit in kind tax charge would be calculated using a rate of 32%. This leads to an overall benefit value of just over 8,500 pounds. Okay, so if I'm on 20% tax? For a 20% taxpayer, the tax liability associated with the VW Golf would be £1,711. And what about a 40% tax? For a 40% taxpayer, the tax liability would be £3,422. But, well, I'm the business owner. What, what will I pay with tax on the business uh, liability? Well, for the VW Golf, the employer's NIC liability would be £1,181. OK, let's compare this Nissan Leaf. So for the Nissan Leaf, which has a list price of just over £31,000, the benefit in kind tax charge from the 6th of April 2020 is reduced to 0%. Right, OK. How does it affect the individual then? Well, with a benefit value of nil, for a 20% taxpayer, the tax liability would be nil. And what about 40% tax? So for a 40% taxpayer, the tax liability would also be nil. But they're going to get the business. They're going to hit me as a business owner. They always do. No, the good news is that for the Nissan Leaf, the employer's NIC liability would also be nil. And that's from April this year? From the 6th of April 2020. What about next year? So from the 6th of April 2021, the tax rate would increase to 1% and a year later up to 2%. But when you compare that with the 32% tax rate applied to the VW Golf, it's still significantly lower. Well, I tell you what, Charlie, I'm glad I brought you along. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. Let's get back to this test drive. Well, Dave, this is great, and it's one of the new generation of cars, and we're going to see these electric cars all the time, aren't we? You because are. more and more. The, the supply chain is pushing them out there Absolutely. because of Euro rules. Yes. Uh, as I understand it, the Euro rules are that manufacturers are given a fine or a tax for every diesel or petrol car they produce in 2020 and a credit or a bribe for every electric car. So yes. they're pushing them out. Yes, there'll be more and more, more, more and more manufacturers are doing it as well. So I like it. I'm convinced. Have we got a deal? We have. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome.